Hello there beautiful beings, welcome to my sacred space. My name is Raven and thank you so much for being here. This is going to be an unboxing video of Universal Tarot by Los Carabeo. This deck is a mini as you can see. And I purchased this off of Llewellyn's website for $13.95. Yeah, and I got this deck um, along with the Ancestor Spirit Oracle cards. Um, because if you reach a certain amount then you'll get free delivery but I didn't just get this deck because of that reason alone I do have the tiny tarot universal um, mini and the golden universal um, tarot and I don't have the regular size for this one I don't think I will get one because I already had this and this and this is just I think I don't know the right um, size um, for a universal tarot version Plus, I do love my mini decks, so this is how it looks like. It has the High Priestess there with a different outfit. Um, the artwork is by Roberto De Angelis. Um, and if you can see, um, I'm gonna open it up. It has this really pretty purple color, a rich purple color that's, you know, so regal. Um, I love the contrast of the lighter shade and the darker shade, similar to this. and. I don't know, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I did check several reviews of the mini version um, online and I think they had um, just a regular talk box similar to this, I guess. Um, this is also a low scarabay deck. Um, the Mystical Kipper, I, did I get it from low scarabay? I don't remember. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think the old version of this deck just comes with a regular talk box. but. I think they changed it um, already. Um, I do love the new packaging. It has this linen, um, linen paper, linen cover. It's it's just gorgeous. It doesn't have a, um, a cut out for your thumb, but you can easily. Um, whoa! <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but you can easily pull it out. Okay. In the back, you have this pretty black color that's really elegant looking and then here you have the tiny 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 little white book um, that usually comes with Los Carabeo um, they do have several different languages so this one has English, Italiano, Espanol, Francais, Portuguese and I don't know what that is um, is that Poland? I'm not sure <laughs> I don't want to sound ignorant but I really don't know which language that is i can't read that anyway maybe polish i'm guessing if you know please educate me so this is the deck it has the celtic cross spread here um, for reference and then this tiny tarot deck is not only a collector's object but may also be used whenever a normal sized deck is troublesome or too large to carry around the instructions which follow refer to the traditional meanings of the cards and may serve as a useful reference so what you have here are just the keywords for each of the card um chalices pentacles wands so everything is here in order and then card of the day during the first serene moment of each day choose one card after shuffling the deck this card indicates how the day will go at the end of the day meditate a few minutes on how the day went and oh went and uh, went and on the cards suggestion okay oh and here you have the explanation for the celtic cross and then here you already have the italiano um instructions okay so that's how it looks like. Very, very um, straight to the point. Okay, and then the deck is here. Cool. This is so cute. Well, I'm excited to open it. Um, let's see. There you go. Come on. All right. So there you go. I have removed the shrink wrap. So the deck comes with this. Um, Los Carabeo um, business card. <laughs> wow, I'm at a loss for words. Okay, this comes with a Los Carabeo business card and it somehow looks like the strength card. I don't know from which deck, but that's how it looks like because 
That's not really a lion, I think. Is it? It looks like a bear. Anyway, we're not here for that. We're here for <laughs> the Universal Tarot by Los Carabello. There you go. So it has this weird blue um, side, I don't know, border there going on. I don't understand that. Um, I'm not really that bothered by it. I think it's just strange to have that there. Um, so in the title card, you have... The High Priestess, same as the cover, and the backing looks like this. Um, I don't know if the if other universal, if the regular size backing is like this. If it is, please let me know. I, I'm not sure. So here we have the cards. Okay, let's talk about the cardstock first. Cardstock is, it's sturdy. I like my Los Carabeo decks. Um, I... I do. I am. I. I'm fond of the quality of the cards. This somehow feels a little bit papery. Hang on. Let me just pull out my Tower of White Cats mini. Yeah, yeah. This one's a little bit more papery. I'm not sure if that's because of the print, but this one is. This one is smooth all over. They do have the same size. Um, but the paper quality is different. I think the paper quality of this um, this deck, specifically the Tire of White Cats, is better. Um, but that's just a, um, an observation. Okay, so this will actually snap back. Okay, but okay. See, if I do this here, if I do the same thing here, it doesn't have any dent or whatever. Whereas here. It kind of like stays so it doesn't really snap back completely but it doesn't I don't know it's not really a big deal okay so I'm gonna go and give you a flip through of the cards if in case you're just I don't know interested to see them in the mini version wow that's a that's a nice touch I'm not sure oh yeah we have it also in the universal okay you know what let me just open the others for a quick comparison Hi, I'm back for a correction. Um, I said that this is the same as the Universal Tarot. It is not. This is Universal Weight Tarot. And if you can see, um, you can clearly identify the difference between the full. Okay, this is the mini and this is, well, this is the tiny and this is the mini deck. All right. Um, I'm going to show you another comparison. I stand corrected. I apologize for that. I don't want to give you misinformation, but... Um, here you have the tiny tarot, this is the um, mini, and this is the golden universal tarot. So you can see this is clearly different. Okay, cool. So I only have two versions of the universal tarot and I'm happy with that. I am going to give you a flip through of the cards. And I'm gonna put on some music right now.
Alright, so that is my full flip through of the Universal Tarot by Los Carabeo. And as I always love to give comparisons, I'm gonna give you one right now. So this is the Hermit card from the Smithwaite Tarot Deck Centennial Edition in a tin. So this is a small version, but as you can see, this is you know still bigger than the mini version. This is the cover, I mean for the tin, and the backing is it's like this. So this one, okay, um, if you can see this one has the signature or Pixie's um, signature. Um, this one doesn't because this is the reimagined version of Los Carabeo by Roberto de Angelis. Okay, and you know, you can clearly see the difference um, with the Hermit card alone. Um, this guy is wearing a head cover, um, the staff is bent, different lamp, um, it's right there, there, I guess. So, you know, you can clearly see the differences in the cards. Um, on the artwork, okay? Another thing that I noticed is that this deck doesn't give you titles of the cards, so it just provides Roman numerals for major arcana cards. And um, for minor, it has like this icon, so that's a knight of swords. So you have the icon there. This is the queen of swords, the ten of pentacles. And this one, actually, they don't use um, Roman numerals. They just use regular numbers. Um, we're asked with the Tyro of White Cats Mini, they have the Roman numeral and the title of the card. And the same goes for um, minor arcana cards. You have the Eight of Pentacles. This one, it's just a number. Um, if you're familiar with the tarot, you know, even though the images are different, you know, you can um, identify which one. Um, out of all of the suits, I guess. Um, the swords it's the one that has the most significant differences um, in terms of the art because I see uh, different angles okay. this is the nine of swords um, completely different this one the guy is um, facing up instead of the back um, so yeah those are just some of the differences some of the things that I noticed from the deck um, let me try to shuffle it for you before I leave. Let's see how it shuffles. Oops. Okay. Another try. Another go. Let's give it another go. Yeah. So it actually shuffles well. I don't have a problem with shuffling it. Hmm. It shuffles okay this way as well. It's just perfect for my hand because I do have tiny hands. Right? Um, so there you go. That's my full review and flip through of the Universal Tarot by Los Carabeo. If you have questions, please let me know in the comment section below. I would love to reply to your messages as soon as I can. And if you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for your likes and your subscribes. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye!